Hi, Samuel Jordan Fitness here, and welcome today to your 15-minute seated upper body kettlebell workout. So this is arranged in a hit style, so we've got 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. We're going to be doing two rounds of seven exercises and then one final exercise as a finisher. If you haven't warmed up yet, then click the link in the top right-hand corner. I'm using a 16 kilogram kettlebell here, but make sure to use whatever you feel comfortable with today. Our first exercise is a kettlebell halo, and we're gonna be kicking off this workout in a few seconds. Let's get ready to go. So first exercise is halo. Let's grab the kettlebell by the horns and with it facing upside down. Start with the kettlebell just in front of one of your hips and then with control, we're gonna bring it up to the opposite side of the body. Circle the head and then bring it down to the other hip. It's really important that you do this slow and with control. This is an awesome exercise for core stability as well as shoulder mobility. We've got a few more seconds and then we'll be taking a rest. So let's take a 20 second rest. Next up, we're going to bring that kettlebell up onto our right shoulder and then we're going to do shoulder presses with the right arm. We got a few more seconds of rest and then let's go. So it's really important here that we keep the kettlebell towards the midline of our body as it's resting on our shoulder here. This is to protect the shoulder. We don't want the weight of the kettlebell pulling our palm away from the center line of our body. When your arm is in full extension above the head, you can think about your bicep touching your ear and that's how you keep the weight in the center line of your body. This will help you to keep good form and good control of the weight. So keep going, we've got a few more seconds and then we'll take a rest. So now we've got a 20 second rest and then we're going to do the same thing on the left arm. Grab a sip of water if you need, we'll be starting in about 10 seconds. So let's go for shoulder presses on the left arm. Again, remember those form cues. We're going to be keeping the weight in the center line of our body. Make sure your bicep touches your ear at full extension. And as that kettlebell is resting on your shoulder, keep your palm towards the center line of your body. Let's keep going for a few more seconds and then we'll take a rest. So 20 second rest and next up we'll do some bicep curls. So depending on the shape of your kettlebell, you can either hold the kettlebell by the horns or by the bell itself. The shape of the kettlebell that I'm using is quite small so I'm going to be holding the bell here. So with both arms, we're going to flex at the elbow, bring that kettlebell up towards your chest with control and then slowly lower it down on the eccentric phase. Great work. A few more seconds and then we'll take a rest. So next up, we've got a challenging core move. We're going to be doing a wood chop from left to right. So option to either hold the kettlebell by the horns or by the bell. We start by holding the kettlebell outside of our left hip and then we're going to bring it up and raise it up and above the right shoulder. So the lift is diagonal along the body. We're gonna do this with control. Keep your core engaged. It's a challenging exercise. You got this.
great work. We've got a few more seconds and then we'll take a rest. So let's take a 20 second rest. Next up, we're going to do the same on the opposite side. So holding the kettlebell either by the horns or the bell, depending on the size of your kettlebell and what feels comfortable. We're going to woodchop that weight from the outside of the right hip to the outside of the left shoulder. Great work, keep going. We've got a few more seconds and then we'll take a rest together. So take a rest, next up we'll do some tricep extensions. Again, we have an option to either hold the kettlebell by the bell or by the horns. We're going to lift the weight above our head and then with control, slowly lower it down by flexing at the elbows. Be really careful with this one as we'll be holding that weight above our head. Take extra rests if you need. Great work, we've got a few more seconds and then we'll take a rest. So we've got a 20 second rest and then we're going to repeat those seven exercises. We're coming towards the middle of the workout, so take an extra rest if you need it. Grab a sip of water. In a few seconds, we're gonna go for that kettlebell halo. So we can push a little bit harder on this round by going really slow with this exercise. The slower you go, the harder it is. We've got 30 more seconds, let's go. Awesome work. A few more seconds and then we'll take a rest. Nice work, we've got 20 seconds of rest. We're past the halfway point now, great work. Next up, we're doing a shoulder press with the right arm. Got a few more seconds of work and then we'll be taking a rest. So let's take a 20 second rest and next up we're going to do the same on the left arm. Grab a sip of water if you need, you're smashing this workout.
We've got a few more seconds and then we'll take a rest. Great work. So let's take a rest now. And next up, we're going back to those bicep curls. We're going to be starting in about 10 seconds. So option to push a little bit harder here is to go really slow on the lowering part of the curl. This will really fatigue your muscles and help to gain strength and muscle mass. Keep going, we've got a few more seconds and then a rest. Awesome work, I know it's really starting to burn now, but hang in there with me. Next up, we're doing the wood chop from left to right. Keep going, I know it's gonna be really burning now. We've got a few more seconds and then we'll take a rest. Let's take a rest. We're going to be doing one more wood chop in this workout and we're going to be going from right to left. Keep going, I know it's really burning. We got a few more seconds and then a rest. So 20 second rest. Next up, we've got tricep extensions. There's just a couple more exercises in this workout. You've got this. So our option to push a little bit harder here is to go really slow when we're lowering the kettlebell down. As with the bicep curls, this is going to create more fatigue in our muscles, which is going to really help to build muscle mass. Just a few more seconds, keep going. We're gonna take a rest in a few seconds. So you've made it through to the last exercise of this workout, well done. This is our final finisher. We're going to be doing a press to front extension. So the ideal here is to be holding the kettlebell by the bell. We extend it above our head and then straight out in front of our chest going to be working our shoulders and our core stability. It's a challenging exercise and the last one of this workout. 30 more seconds, let's do this together. Keep 
keep going. We've got 10 more seconds. You've got this. And that is it for this workout. Thank you so much for joining me. Well done for completing this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please like the video, subscribe to my channel and click that notification button. You can click the link now for a cool down and stretch routine. Thanks again so much for joining me and I'll see you on the next workout.